disruptions, but the coronal holes do continue to turn through. Enhanced solar wind from those is on its way to Earth, and in the coming days, we will be watching the sunspot group turn over the limb into our view as well. To be visible with this much detail, its high umbral field arches must be connected to some pretty large sunspots. Folks, who remembers TRAPPIST-1? Who remembers the discovery and how amazing it was to get update after update, basically feeling like we got to know those alien worlds? Today, we've got the next in the super-studied systems, and it's called L9859. Not the most stunning name, but it's got one planet half the mass of Venus. It's got another one just slightly larger than the Earth, and there's also one that's somewhere between the Earth and Uranus size, and it could be a water world, they say. But there's more. There are two other planets implicated at further orbits, and those are up next on the discovery block. Quick comparison of the systems here based on apparent temperatures. Up next, two fun animations from the SVS. First one is the test field showing its capture pattern and then zooming out to see its reach in the galaxy. We also have one on the Earth Systems Observatory. At the links for these, there is more information and download options. Frankly, we need this for the sun or at least the geomagnetic field and global electric circuit connection. So they pointed Chandra here at this seemingly boring area of space, and what came back was not so boring. Their explanation? There must be a black hole in there near the center with a binary from which it's feeding. The white thing is supposed to be the black hole in their animation, by the way. Feeling less confused? Me either. But what we can say is that a binary system is a great explanation for a repeating X-ray signature pinging back off interstellar clouds in the galaxy. Just not a black hole. Last but not least, yesterday's hammer on climate science was big, but this is more practically important. It feels like we got a flood of papers on this topic and then they just stopped. But the latest update comes from the big time players, showing that indeed, the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation is breaking down into its weak state. This is not a fluctuation or minor variability, like a pothole. This is the bridge is out, road closed. And this is what is found as A8 on our climate science fail chart. This thing's coming in handy, isn't it? Folks, all the studies about melting polar ice triggering an ice age, it's about this exact thing. Yes. Part of the overturning is the Gulf Stream, which is indeed shutting down with the greater patterns, and this is going to lead to extreme climate swings in all directions. Heat and cold, flood and drought, nobody left behind. We've been calling it climate extremes for half a decade, and it's what we've been expecting to get much, much worse.